Hey, what's up guys? My name's Faison, you're watching Unfaze, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the rules changes for Science Olympiad Ping Pong Parachute in the 2020 to 2021 Science Olympiad season. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so if you're interested, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into it. Alright, yeah, so this is going to be a short video because there hasn't been too many changes to the ping pong parachute rules. But I'm just going to be going over what has drastically, or I guess, been changed in the rules. The main change, I guess, that was in the rules is just a bit of a rules clarification. So basically, you're not able to put anything inside of the pressure vessel or your one liter soda bottle this year. And in previous years, you wouldn't have been able to do that, I believe. So I don't really see how this is going to really affect your rockets for, that you built last year for the competition. So I don't really think you'll have any trouble probably being able to use your own devices from last year if you competed and if you haven't it's totally fine you're on the same level everyone has uh everyone's doing this event all over again and this it shouldn't be that hard i'll be making more videos about ping pong parachute and how you can make your own ping pong parachute pretty good but i guess another important thing to look over in these rules are that you now have to use a tire pump now for people who are using an air compressor that is no longer legal according to these rules and I haven't had any problems with air compressors personally so I don't really know why this rule was in place but my best guess is that uh, with air compressors there could have been leaks from that gas and that could have affected the performance of different rockets and how high rockets could go and that probably was the reason why they said only tire pumps and not actually air compressors. And I guess one important thing to note in these rules is now they clearly say that you can have no more than 65 psi to launch your rocket, but we already knew that from previous years when they added the rule clarification. So yeah, those are the main rule changes, and if you want me to go over them again or want me to go more in detail with them, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any other questions about Ping Pong Parachute, you can let me know there as well, and I'll try to get back to it as fast as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for new Science Olympiad videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.